all of you will continue to see the power of God in your life, in your ministries, in the mighty name of Jesus. And I pray that the Lord will answer to all these prayers in the mighty name of Jesus. Do you know that this is a period of rain of prayer. Rain of prayer is falling. It's falling. I don't know if you are aware of it, but rain of prayer is falling. You know, I had a mind to just say a few words and then we say the grace, but God said no, we must still pray. Because I felt the power of the prayer that we have prayed already. I was just going to say just a few words and then I just say, let, let us share the grace. But God said, I, there is something I should still give out to you. This is a period when the rain of prayer is falling. And I want you, if you look outside, when it is raining, there is always a manifestation. The fields will be wet. The plants will grow. Everywhere will have a manifestation of rainfall. In your life, there is a manifestation that nobody can hide. Nobody can stop. Nobody can put it under any cover again is going to spring up in that name of Jesus. You see, I rest my, I, I, my assurance is resting upon the word of God. And the word of God tells me that when I decree a thing, it, it shall be established. Is there, you find it in Job, Job chapter 22. Job chapter 22 and in verse 28, the Bible says, Thou shalt also decree a thing, and it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thy ways. So what we have been doing, we have been issuing decrees. You see? That verse, if you look at that verse, and the Holy Spirit interprets it to you very well, you will see that what that verse is saying is this, that you have to make a decree. You have to make a decree. You can't sit down and be looking. You have to make a decree. And it says that when you make that decree, it will be established. So the first thing, you must make that decree and then God will now establish that decree. And he says, light will now shine. After you have made that decree, he says, light will now shine on your way. So you can see a lot of things are attached to the decree that you, are, you must make. And that is what we are doing. We have been making decrees. Don't worry, rain of prayer is falling. There will be manifestation very soon. There will be manifestation. What it means that without issuing that decree, nothing will be established. Without issuing that decree, without releasing the prayer, the rain of prayer, nothing will be established. There will be darkness unless you issue that decree. You remember from creation, the Bible tells us that the whole world was in darkness. And then the Lord issued a decree. And what was that decree? The Lord said, let there be light. In real Hebrew interpretation, what that passage says is, light, be, it's a command, light, be. 
That means light appear now. It's a command. So God created something out of nothing. So and He has given us the power. He has given us the authority. And you can also issue decrees. And you will issue decree today. You will issue decree today. And something will happen in your life. Something will happen in your life. There is no power that can stand it. Because God has given us that authority. You know what Jesus Christ said? He said, whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. So, you are, a decree is an order. And that order is having the, 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 the law behind it. This time, this decree that we are issuing has the backing of the law of God. So, we are not just saying what we are saying. Whatever we say, during this season, every time we pray, whatever we say, there is power that is backing it up from heaven. So, we have the authority, the authoritative order of God. And when we use it, people must comply. They must comply. They cannot argue. They must comply. So today, as I have explained to you now, that all of heaven is backing you. You have the support of all of heaven. Because it says that whatever you bind here will be burned in heaven. So you have the support of all of heaven. So it is now your responsibility to choose to step into who God created you to be. When our mommy was expounding some, the word to us, God, it, it, she explained to us that God has created us differently. And you will see that in the palm of your hand. Look at your own, look at your wife's own, look at your children's own. They can never be the same. God has coded something into your into the palm of your hand. So it is now your choice. You, you, you can choose to step into who God created you to be, or if you like, you can continue to be who the enemy wants you to be. If I were you, I will pray so that I can be who God created me to be. Are you ready? All right. Now, if you are ready, you are going to pray. I want you to say, Oh God, today, overwhelm me with your blessing. Overwhelm me with your blessing. Pray that prayer. Say, Oh God, today, overwhelm me with your blessing. With your blessing. Abundant blessing. Overwhelm me, oh Lord, with your blessing. Pray it. Pray it. Overwhelm me with your blessing. With your blessing. With your love. With your love. Say, oh Lord, from today, let me start living abundant life. Pray that prayer. That is the meaning of overwhelming with blessing. Say, oh Lord, from today, let me start living abundant life. Pray. I want an abundant life. Decree that into your life. Decree it into your life. Abundant life. I decree abundant life into my life today. I decree abundant life into my life today in the name of Jesus. Pray if you want it. If you want it, open your mouth and pray. Don't forget, the Bible says you will decree a thing and it will be established. Unto you. Say, oh Lord, I want abundant life. 
I decree abundant life into my life today, into my family, into my children's life, into my grandchildren's life, into my family, into the life of my loved ones. I decree abundant life, abundant life, abundant life. As you commanded it, that light should appear and light appeared oh lord let abundant life start to be my portion i decree it now into my life pray 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 that prayer i decree it into my life abundant life abundant life In Jesus' name we pray. Say, so I decree the release of divine favor and breakthrough into my life, into the life of my children and my grandchildren and all my loved ones. Pray that prayer now. Say, so I decree the release of divine favor and breakthrough into my life. Pray that prayer. Decree it. Decree it. If you like, if you want it, then open your mouth and decree it. And decree it yourself. Decree it. Let the people that are in the other room, let them hear you decree me. This is no time for silent prayer. When you want to decree, you don't pray silent prayer. I decree the release of divine favor and breakthrough into my life in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I decree today. Say, I decree today. That all the dry bones. In every area of my life. Whether physical. Whether financial. Whether spiritual. Whether academic or social or business today receive life receive life receive life all the dry bones receive life now i decree life into all the dry bones of my life in all the departments of my life i decree i decree life i decree life into all the dry bones whether it's financial whether it's physical whether it's spiritual in every area, every department of my life, I decree life now. I decree life now. Every part where there is a dry bone, I said I decree life now. In the mighty name of Jesus. Decree it. You are the Ezekiel of your own life now. You are the Ezekiel of your own life now. You are the Ezekiel of your own life now. All those dry bones can live again. Decree. Decree. He should have decree. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, I decree 
revival into every area of my life that have defied prayers all those my problems, all those my challenges that have defied prayers up to today, ah, I decree revival into you now. Decree it. Every area of your life that have defied your prayers, that you have been praying and praying, nothing is happening, nothing is changing. Pray today. Decree. Decree that there must be revival. I decree revival today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. I need to let you know, somebody, that there are times when you've got to do something yourself. So when you go to do something yourself, you have to do it. You have to do it. If God has already provided food for you, and you need to go to the, get to the kitchen and cook it. You have that rice, you have beans, you have whatever the food is, and you need to get up and go to the kitchen to prepare it. And you are sitting down, praying that God come and come and cook this food for me. Come and cook this food for me. You will wait forever. There are things you must do yourself. If God has prepared it for you, then get up. Do your own bit. God said that you will decree a thing and it will be established. And some people are looking at me. How do you want to decree when you don't close your eyes and, and fire the decree? Release the decree. Say, so, oh Lord, today I decree that all the bands of wickedness coordinated by the powers of darkness towards me that have been making my life unbearable today I decree that they be disbanded now in the name of Jesus disband them now issue that decree they have been making your life unbearable disband them disband them issue that decree God is waiting for you to open your mouth and issue that decree. Disband them. Disband them. All the bands of wickedness. I decree today that you are disbanded. You are disbanded. Out of my life. Out of the life of my children and my grandchildren. You are disbanded. You are disbanded. In the name of Jesus. You have been making my life unbearable. I don't want to again. You are disbanded today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Disband them now. Disband them now. You have the authority. You have the authority. You have the power to do it. Every band. Every band of wickedness. Every band of wickedness. Every power of darkness. That have been making your life unbearable. Disband them. Call them out of your life. Call them to pieces. I decree today that every band of wickedness, every band of darkness that have been making my life unbearable, making the life of my children unbearable, I disband you today in the name of Jesus. I disband you today in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. 
and so shall it be in Jesus' name. Amen. Now I want you to just put your hands upon your head as I as I release some blessings of God upon you now. By the reason of the anointing of God and the word that God has revealed to me today, I decree now that every strong man, every power that is terrorizing your life during the day, in the afternoon, and at night, today, I decree that they are overpowered and disgraced openly now in the name of Jesus. By the reason of the anointing of God, I said they are overpowered and they are disgraced openly in the mighty name of Jesus. Every man, and this is a decree now, every man or woman that is sitting on your benefits, and walking tirelessly against your progress and your well-being, I command them now to be subdued, bound, and put to blindness, total blindness, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every authority that is being used in wickedness to torture you, today I decree that they shall be dismantled in the mighty name of Jesus. All evil hands that have been placed on top of your head and on top of your blessings and on top of your possessions that have been making things so difficult for you, today I decree they shall be withered in the mighty name of Jesus. They shall be withered in the mighty name of Jesus. All those that are forcefully holding back the keys of your joy, the keys that will take you to the place of your joy, today, I command them now, and this is a decree that can never be argued about, I command them now to hand it over to you by fire and by force in the mighty name of Jesus. God will make you to triumph and rejoice over your enemies. In the mighty name of Jesus. By the unfailing name of Jesus. I decree today. That from now. You will no longer live below your dreams. You will no longer. Joseph did not live below his dreams. You will no longer live below your dreams. You will no longer live outside of the fullness of God's divine plan for your life. And for the life of your children. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will no longer live outside. The divine purpose of God. The divine promise of God. For your life. In the mighty name of Jesus. From today I decree. That you will enter. Into your inheritances. You will possess your possessions. You will live your dreams. And your visions. To the fullest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your children will live their dream. To the fullest. In the mighty name of Jesus. Your grandchildren shall live their dreams. Their visions. Into the fullest. In the mighty name of Jesus. You will fulfill your destiny. You will fulfill your destiny. The name of God shall be glorified in your life. It shall be glorified in your life. In the name of Jesus. You will no longer be cheated. You will never again be cheated by the powers of darkness in the mighty name of Jesus. I release upon you now and I prophesy now that any power of the enemy that is programmed into the air, into the sea, into the land, into the forest, wherever, where the thousands of miles away, with the plan and purpose of cheating you, of distracting you from your blessings. Today, I command the fire of God and the hailstones from above to fall upon them now. And I release the angels of God to persecute them in the name of Jesus. 
and I call forth now by the decree that God has put in my mouth. I call forth now all your treasures that the enemy has stolen. I decree now that they are coming back to you. Receive them now. Receive them now. All your treasures, all your children's treasures, all your grandchildren's treasures that the enemy have stolen. But they have stolen by the reason of reading your star or reading your palm or placing hand upon you. I said they are coming back to you now. Receive them in the mighty name of Jesus. And so shall it be. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.